the editor of the... B oh. Well, that was the editor <laughs> of the BBC China service, uh, Raymond Liu. We'll <laughs> have more from him a little later on. Now here, the Met Office has issued an amber weather warning for rain in southeast England after torrential downpours across much of the region. It's the first such warning issued this summer and came after more than a month's rain fell in just nine hours. The Met Office is warning people of the risk of flooding to roads and property as emergency services across the southeast respond to a number of call-outs and travel by road and rail is put under strain. Well, with me now is Louise Lear from the BBC Weather Centre. And uh, what is the latest? Because there's a bit of a lull at the moment. There is. The worst affected areas certainly, Simon, have been across the extreme southeast. We've had great footage today of flooding in Brighton. We've had a, um, a shopping centre in Eastbourne that has been flooded out as well. And the whole of the southeast corner, so Essex, Kent, Sussex, have seen the worst of the weather. But we've got blue sky and sunshine at the moment, and it certainly does look as though there's further to come. If we can take a look at some of the pictures down towards Kent is where we've seen this real cluster of thunderstorms today. This has been the story so far. So these thunderstorms and lightning strikes and the intense rain is where we've seen the 30, 40 millimetres of rainfall totalling. But you can see actually behind it, the blues start to disappear. So there's a bit of a lull at the moment, but we are expecting the potential a little bit later on today, just in time for evening rush hour of further sharp showers to develop. Uh, a lot of uh, lightning was seen there as well. I mean, it's all fairly, fairly dramatic. And why, why now? Well, it's not unusual in August, to actually, in the southeast corner. It's one of the months of the year where we see perhaps more significant rainfall totals, which is, uh, you know, takes a lot of people by surprise. But it's because we get this warm plume of air sometimes that comes up from the near continent. That's what's been happening through today. This area of low pressure has been drifting steadily northwards, and it's brought some really intense wet weather. Now, the emphasis through tonight, actually, the thunderstorms will ease away, but the heaviest of the rain is really across the northeast of England, southeast. Scotland. A lot of people still on holiday, a lot of people still under canvas. This is not going to be a great night for camping at all. Yeah, I mean, everybody in the north and particularly in Scotland who sees us when we do stories on weather in the southeast says, well, you know nothing. Uh, so it's, it's unusual, but not that unusual. The difficulty, of course, being the southeast, that there's real problems for commuters and the timing tonight couldn't be worse. Yes, and, and we've already seen issues on rail and road and there could be further problems this evening. Must just say though for Scotland and Northern Ireland, glorious there at the moment, sunshine, 21 degrees and they've had an awful summer. So it's lovely, but there's some rain to come and it'll be a different story to, for them tomorrow. Louise, thank you very much, Louise Lear. Uh, I was wondering if we were going to be joined by Rob Clayton from the, yes we are, uh, from the Traffic Intelligence Service in Ricks. Uh, forgive me Mr Clayton, I wasn't sure if we're, we'd got you there, but good to talk to you. Uh, we were just talking to Louise there about the weather situation. You can bring us up to date with uh, what things are like on the roads. I mean, looking at those monitors behind you, things are moving fairly, fairly easily. Well, yeah, I mean, this morning the weather was definitely having an impact. I mean, at about half past ten this morning, the phones in the, here in the travel centre just went absolutely crazy with the amount of callers ringing in to report roads flooded. As you've heard, the worst parts were affected were especially kind of Sussex, across parts of Kent and Hampshire. And then the calls drifted off at about lunchtime and by about two in the afternoon, the water started to disperse. And on the whole, most main routes are now passable, at least for the, what was uh, flooded on from this morning. Some of the more minor routes, especially around Sussex, are still maybe a little bit treacherous. But on the whole, for the roads, it is actually uh, doing OK for now. But like you heard, just heard there, this afternoon with more rain on top of what is already saturated ground you're likely to find more problems for the roads at least what are the main pressure points would you say um, certainly um, where there's hills or dips because all the water will kind of uh, congregate at the bottom obviously and also field runoff can also be a problem so again stuff that's on a, a hill where water comes in across the uh, uh, hills and then basically floods the road and also because we've not had an awful lot of water it, the ground's quite compact so it literally just runs straight off the rails have been affected as well in fact there are still some problems on the rails southeast and uh, through gillingham we've got delays of up to an hour and that's likely to be on for a while yet because of uh, level crossing that became flooded and also between lewis and wivelsfield in sussex all lines are now open there but there are delays of about 30 minutes and was that because the lines had been flooded rob 
Yeah, a combination of lines flooded and also some lightning strikes, we think, affected some of the signalling equipment, which meant that, obviously, uh, they couldn't get the trains through. I mean, aside from the weather, there's still quite a lot of problems on the trains but for other reasons, but it was the weather across kind of Sussex, Kent, that really did have the impact this morning. It's tricky, isn't it? Because we always hear the advice, you know, only go on these journeys unless they're absolutely vital. But, of course, we're coming up to the evening rush hour now, aren't we? And people are going to want to get home. Yeah, and we were expecting the weather to come in, but, you know, it, it was all very sudden. It was a kind of a, a flash a downpour. People got caught. They're going to be having to make their way homes if they made it. So, you know, what is an essential journey? If you've already got to work, you've got to get it home somehow. So it's likely to be uh, quite a tre treacherous journey, and certainly parts of Kent later on this afternoon. OK, Rob Clayton from the Traffic Intelligence Service in Rex. We're grateful for your time. Good to talk to you. Many thanks.